Knockout Subtraction is a game that can be played with Goal 3 Extended Subtraction. The game is played with a deck of 0 through 10 or Ace through 10 cards. And um, I, I haven't mentioned in the directions for the other games, but I did include in this one a discard pile just for you to think about how you want to introduce this idea of what do you do with the cards when the game is, you know, when your turn is over. And so a separate discard pile just makes a little bit more sense, I think, that keeps the draw pile from getting too confusing. And uh, when all of the draw pile is gone, the students can shuffle the discard pile. The way this game works is that when it's my turn, I'm going to draw one card from the draw pile. And in this case, I drew a six. So that card automatically goes in the tens place in front of the zero, to the left of the zero. So now I know that I'm starting off my subtraction problem with 60 and I'm going to draw a second card now. And that card is a two in this case. So that card is automatically going to go into the uh, ones place, the, the subtrahend place. And so my problem that I'm going to be working on is 60 minus two. If you're having the students play this in the concept development phase, you'll want them to have some kind of manipulative. I've got a number rack up here. So the student can go ahead and set up all 60 over on the left. And then the idea then of subtracting two, um, I went ahead and moved two of the beads in the bottom row to the little bit to the right so that I could see that what's left is one, two, three, four, five, tens, 50, eight. And so I get to color in or put markers on the 50 and the eight. And then it'll be my partner's turn. And my partner will go through the same process. Um, and if you want, they can just use two different colors. So that then once the 50 and the eight are gone, they're no longer available to either of us as players. The other option is that you can give each of the players their own blackout game board so that they can be coloring in uh, their own. So that's one version of this. Another version is that you could actually draw both cards together and decide which one is going to be in the tens place and which one is going to be in the ones place or in the subtrahend place, sorry. Um, and that amps, uh, ramps up the, um, the strategy uh, awareness. So you may not want to start with that version, but you could certainly move on to that if you'd like.